Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. I am a Kaizo and Variety Streamer, and I use Mix It Up on the regular. This is a Mix It Up tutorial on how to prevent bots and trolls from chatting in your channel and following you. There will be some limitations to this. Um, this will only work, obviously, when you're running Mix It Up. They can still follow you when you are not streaming or at the very least not running mix it up so keep that in mind other limitation is that if we don't know which patterns to look for in bots um, or in trolls then um, they can still follow you initially but once you put in that pattern of their username then you can block them and ban them in the future um, as long as that pattern stays consistent, we can continue blocking them and banning them when they make more usernames. But uh, let's jump into it so I can show you what I mean. So click on the top left in the menu here. Go to Events. Now, um, you can either do this in Chat User Joined or... Uh, where's Twitch Channel Followed? Uh, Twitch Channel Followed, okay? If you put it on Twitch Channel Followed, that means it'll work regardless of whether you're streaming or not, as long as Mix It Up is running. If it detects that someone follows you, then if they fit that pattern of the bot or troll you're looking for, then they will be banned and blocked, um, even if you're not streaming. Now, for chat user joined, that will only work when you're streaming because you only have a chat room when you're streaming. Okay, so keep that difference in mind. Okay, so when I go to chat users joined, I'm going to add a command here. We have a conditional. Okay, and in the conditional, we're using the or operator. So if any one of these possibilities is true, we're going to execute, execute these actions, the moderation action and the chat message action. Um, on the left side, the first value is always going to be the username. We're saying contains. Uh, it's already selected, so you can't see it in the drop down. Um, and then whatever the pattern is here. So Man of Steel, Hoss, Manolia, Hoss with a zero, Host. It could be Luna. I know Luna was a big one. So um, if it detects any of those patterns, as I'm calling them, then that username will be banned. Uh, something to guard against is make sure the pattern that you're blocking isn't also one that your actual users have. Like, if someone actually has Luna in their name, but they're one of your actual users, then you could be banning someone you don't want to. So, just be careful when you're selecting the patterns that you want to look for to ban someone and block someone. Make sure you're not, you know, uh, causing a case of like friendly fire to one of your actual viewers okay so then yeah select your patterns that you want to look for then we'll select the moderation action select ban from the drop down or sorry ban user from the drop down and then dollar sign username oops sorry i scrolled up my wheel okay there you go okay and then chat message send a streamer slash block username okay so ban user uh, will prevent them from chatting in your stream slash block username will prevent them from following your stream it'll actually remove them as a follower if they have followed that way you don't have those empty follows in your uh, follow list okay and that is all you have to do and if you want a full list of what blocking does um, it is on the Twitch page. Uh, let's see. Block. Yeah, here you go. So it's on the Twitch page here. Um, I will leave a link in the description if you want to see the full description. But yeah, there's a full list of everything that it does when you block a user. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and review what we did. In the chat user joined event, we added a conditional. Um, for every pattern of bot or troll you want to ban and block you go dollar sign username contains and the pattern and then if any of those patterns are detected add a moderation action ban user dollar sign username to ban that user 
and then chat message slash block dollar sign username. Send that as a streamer, and they will be blocked from following you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is not a perfect solution. It's not automatic in the sense that um, it can be entirely done without, the in without your intervention because you still have to enter the patterns. But once the patterns are there, then those usernames will be continuously blocked. You no longer have to do it yourself. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Um, if you like the video, uh, please leave a like. If you want to see more mix up tutorials, please subscribe. And if you have any ideas for what else I can work on for mix up tutorials, please let me know in the comments. And that is it. Thank you for your time and adios.